Uh, it meant a lot. I was going through a rough time in my career, and um, when I came to Atlanta, they, they revived me and they brought me so much confidence, and the fans supported me and helped uplift me through a difficult time. I was traded a few times in a short span. Um, when I came here with the group, with the organization, they, they really helped me and you know I, I took my chance and I flourished here and we won a couple of trophies and um, just forever I'm grateful for this club and part of me feels that if I never made my move here or never got traded here I don't know if I'd still be playing so I have the utmost respect for this organization and you know there was no way in how I could ever celebrate um, in front of the in, in front of this fan base and Atlanta's a team that really showed the professional game could excel here in the South, also playing in a football stadium, an NFL stadium. Do you see any similarities between Atlanta and your short experience in Charlotte so far? Very similar. Uh, I was just speaking about it earlier uh, before the game. Very similar, two organizations, um, great org organization. Charlotte is new, up and coming. We're a year and a half old and you know, uh, I feel that it's only going to get better and better, especially when our training facility gets uh, get built and you know, we have a steady um, facility for us to be and um, to train every day. And uh, you were ex respectful on the outside, but what, what were you feeling on the inside after those goals? Yeah, goals are the greatest feeling in football. That's why you play, and especially as an attacker. So for me to score, um, you know, I was just traded a few weeks ago out of the blue. Um, and, and that was a difficult moment for me and my family. I was in Salt Lake for a few years. So, um, you know, everything happens for a reason. You know, God is great to me and my family. and. Um, I came to Charlotte and this group, this front office, this coaching staff and the, this locker room really embraced me and, uh, you know, helped me um, do what I do best on the field. And, you know, I, I couldn't be this couldn't be possible without these group, uh, without these guys in that locker room that really brought me in and treated me like family since day one. So like your experience here in Atlanta, you think in Charlotte you're getting your mojo back? I feel like I had my mojo in Salt Lake. I feel like I was playing pretty well. You see, you see how much I love these guys. <laughs> They're troublemakers. Uh, but you know, you're, you're on a roll right now. Uh, can't get too high. You know, it's it's part of it. I gotta stay with it. We can celebrate these at the end of the year. But I, I really, I've learned throughout my long years in MLS. You know, I'll enjoy this. But you know, tomorrow and Monday, I'll, I'll turn the focus to Chicago because. If I, you know, you have a bad game, then everyone's against you. You know what I mean? You got to stay even keel and, and really just put your head down and work. And um, it, it, sometimes it's hard to, you know, get not get too high. You know, especially after a game like this. So you came in at a tough time for Charlotte, you know, and then another loss, but now three wins on the bounce. Uh, what are maybe some changes that you've seen coming in, or some of the things that maybe you've implemented? I just try to bring a little bit of life to the locker room. I feel like that's my personality. Maybe I don't talk it when I'm with you guys. I try and just stay real, even keel. But um, you can ask some of the guys. I'm a real jokester, and I like to bring you know a good camaraderie around the guys and um, lots of laughs during uh, lunchtime with the with the Polish gang we got over there and uh, <laughs> the English duo with Ash and um, with Nate. So we have a good older group, and uh, we just. You know, have a good time with each other, and you know, I think Nate's the best left back, right center back I've ever played with. And any questions? <laughs> any questions from the Polish media? <laughs> the dailies ago. You know, we save money because the three Polish guys they room together. We save. <laughs> nice. Nah, they're good guys, man. Nice, and I mean, the crowd really showed up. The fan base tonight. Um, close to a thousand people or over a thousand. Just your thoughts on what you've seen from the Charlotte FC fans. <laughs> you see, these guys have no respect, huh? None whatsoever. Uh, amazing, amazing support. Um, thank you to our um, to our sponsor for, for putting it together and uh, you know really bringing out our fan base. They were electric. We could hear them on the field and you know they push us and just so thankful for, for, for them coming out and, and taking time out of their day, their weekend, to come and support us on the road. Yeah, so you still have, I guess, I believe five more games in the next 20 days. How do you, I mean, I guess, continue to build on this momentum and make sure everybody stays even keel? One game at a time. We enjoy this, like I said, and tomorrow we turn 
Uh, tomorrow we're off, and Monday we turn to recovery for the guys. We train Tuesday, prepare for Chicago, and we go again Wednesday because long season, man. What will be 12 games in, we still got 22 to go. So we're not even at the halfway point. Got to stay focused. I'm, I'm glad, I'm happy for this group. Two wins in a row this year, we haven't had that yet. So um, with MLS play, so, so we keep going.